Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left myself, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom. I sent two letters back in autumn. You must not have got them. There probably was a problem with the post office or something. Sometimes the scribble address is too sloppy when I jot them. But anyways, fuck it. What's been up, man? How's your daughter? My girlfriend's pregnant too. I'm about to be a father. If I have a daughter, guess what I'm a call her? I'm gonna name her Bonnie. I read about your Uncle Ronnie too, I'm sorry. I had a friend kill himself over something that you didn't want him. I know you probably hear this every day, but I'm your biggest fan. I even got the underground shit that you did with Scam. I got a room full of your posters and your pictures, man. I like the shit you did with Rockers too. That shit was fat. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back. Just a chat. Truly yours. Your biggest fan. This is Sam. Dear Slim, you still ain't called a row, I hope you have a chance. I ain't mad, just think it's fucked up you don't answer fans. If you didn't want to talk to me outside the concert, you didn't have to, but you could've signed an autograph from Matthew. That's my little brother, man, it's only six years old. We waited in the blistering cold for you for four hours, so you just said no. It's pretty shitty, man, you're like his fucking idol. He wants to be just like you, man, he likes you more than I do. Sometimes I even cut myself just to see how much it bleeds. It's like adrenaline. The pain is such a sudden rush for me. See, everything you say is real, and I respect you because you tell it. My girlfriend's jealous because I talk about you 24-7. But she don't know you like I know you, Slim. No one does. She don't know what it was like for people like us growing up. You've got to call me, man. I'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose. Sincerely yours, Stan. P.S. We should be together, too. Mr. I'm too good to call or write my fans. This will be the last package I ever send your ass. It's been six months and still no word. I don't deserve it. I know you got my last two letters. I wrote the addresses on them perfect. See, this is my cassette I'm sending you. I hope you hear it. I'm in the car right now. I'm doing 90 on the freeway. I love you, Slim. We could have been together. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. And when you dream, I hope you can't sleep and you scream about it. I hope your conscience eats at you and you can't breathe without me. See, Slim? Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to talk. Hey, Slim, that's my girlfriend screaming in the trunk. But I didn't slit her throat. I just tied her up. See, I ain't like you. Because if she suffocates, she'll suffer more and then she'll die too. Well, gotta go. I'm almost at the bridge now. Oh, shit. I forgot. How am I supposed to send this shit out? Dear Stan, I meant to write you sooner, but I've just been busy. I said your girlfriend's pregnant now. How far along is she? Look, I'm flattered that you'd call your brother that, and there's an autograph for your brother. I wrote it on the starter cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you at the show. I must have missed you. Don't think I did that shit intentionally just to diss you. But what's the shit you said about you like to cut your wrist too? I say that shit just common, dog. Come on, how fucked up is you? You got some issues, Stan. I think you need some counseling to help your ass and bouncing off the walls when you get down some. And what's the shit about us meant to be together? The type of shit will make me just all not want to meet each other. I really think you and your girlfriend really need each other. Or maybe you just need to treat her better. I hope you get this letter. I just hope it reaches you in time before you hurt yourself. I think that you'd be just fine if you just relax a little. I'm glad I inspire you, Stan, but why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. I seen this shit on the news a couple of weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude in his trunk was driving a car over a bridge, and I need his girlfriend in his trunk, and she was pregnant with his kid, and in the car they found the tape, and it didn't say who he was too. Come to think about it, his name was... It was you. Damn.